Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about something that I think is a pretty common topic on YouTube and that is mental health, in particular social anxiety. I'm also going to be doing a makeup look or trying my best at doing a makeup look. So to begin with, I'm just going to start out with a lotion and just some primer by Too Faced. And then also I'm going to be using a variety of red shades. So I'm going to be using some lipstick and um, kind of blush for eyeshadow to create a red sort of glowy look. So let's get started. I've seen a few popular YouTubers open up about their anxiety, and although I think it helps that those YouTubers are open with their struggles, I also think that maybe some people would benefit from knowing not only that you're not alone if you struggle with feeling socially awkward and anxious, but that it's actually sometimes a sign that you're healthy and that your mind and body are functioning in a way that they should be. So first things first, what makes us feel awkward? Why? Awkwardness is a social phenomenon we often feel, according to Joshua Glegg. It's what we feel when the situation threatens our goal of being accepted by others. Socially awkward feelings and behaviors mark social ruptures or transgressions and direct attention towards their remediation, which essentially means that when we feel socially awkward, it means we have a desire to relieve whatever awkward situation we're in. And the same study found that not only is feeling this way useful, but to behave in a socially awkward manner is actually essential to effective or smooth social interactions. The ability to feel and behave in a socially awkward manner is essential to effective or what some participants in that study called smooth social interactions. So in general, if you feel socially awkward, it might be a good thing. But I know at the time it does not feel like that. There's a few things that happen to us physically that make feeling awkward pretty unpleasant. But there's also a good reason why these things happen too. So one of the things you might feel when you're anxious or in an awkward situation is that your heart will start to beat very fast. I still get this feeling sometimes when I'm raising my hand in class. I can almost feel my heart like beating out of my chest. <laughs> but the reason that your heart is beating so fast in awkward situations or situations you feel anxious or embarrassed is because your brain actually responds to social awkwardness in the same way that it deals with physical pain. So things that happen to your body when you feel tense and awkward are actually a result of the sympathetic nervous system. And this is our nervous system in the body that triggers flight or fight responses. Like I said before, the same neuropathways that deal with physical pain also deal with social pain. So if we feel tense or awkward in a social situation, our body sends the same signals and our sympathetic nervous system activates. You might also notice that you blush or your face goes be red when you feel awkward. Hence why I'm kind of trying to accomplish a red sort of look today. Um, but this is for the same reason that your heart rate has sped up. It's because adrenaline is released from out of the nervous system and it creates a rapid heart rate and also more blood flow and oxygen delivery to the body, which in return makes your veins and your face dilate and that makes your skin look red. A shortness of breath is something you also might feel, which again, the sympathetic nervous system is responding to danger in this situation. So side note, way, way, way back then when people used to hunt for food, seeing a dangerous animal would spike their adrenaline and these things like rapid heart rate and fast breathing made it easier for them to actually run away from perceivable danger. And while that might've been you know, fear from physical pain, our bodies still to this day react the same, just like they do with things we perceive as social pain, like feeling awkward or anxious. So not only do I think that that's kind of cool that we share that with our ancestors, on another note, if you've ever felt embarrassed for someone or cringed when you've watched awkward situations online, studies show that that's actually a sign that you're empathetic. According to an article from Psychology Today, when we witness another being rejected, our brains 
actually register that pain of social rejection, which is then mapped in the brain by the same mechanism that encodes physical pain. So this is thanks to our mirror neurons, which can fire off when we observe others' emotions. So while it might suck and not feel super great in the moment when you're feeling awkward or socially anxious, I hope you can remember sometimes that the things in your body that you feel when you're in these embarrassing and kind of horrible situations at the time are sometimes signs that you're a healthy person, that your mind and body are working great together, and that humans have felt this way for centuries, for so many years, and honestly, we've all been there too. 